An ugly new supercar challenges the Bugatti Veyron, a Prius drops its top, and Infinity preps for battle with BMW. What's up? I'm Derek D. You're watching the coolest show online, Fast Lane Daily. And stay tuned for more Jay Leno weeks later in the show. Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a jock strap wrapped around a smashed tuna sandwich. It's the Weber Sports Cars Faster One. The design may induce vomiting, but it's still mega fast and mega expensive. The Faster One is powered by a seven liter twin supercharged V8, producing 900 horsepower. That's the same LS7 V8 from the Chevrolet Corvette Z06. It also comes with a six speed sequential gearbox built in house, along with an intelligent all wheel drive system. And despite its looks, the Weber Faster One's performance is mind boggling. The company claims a 0 to 60 time of around 2.7 seconds and a top speed expected to be over 248 miles per hour. What price such functional ugliness? A cool 1.5 mil. Whoa. Earlier this week we reported on a Cadillac CTS that had been convertibilized. That may not be a word, but it's definitely a trend. And the latest is this Toyota Prius convertible prepared by Newport Convertible Engineering of Placentia, California. This Prius isn't pretty, but either is Donatella Versace. Oh, zing, you like that. And if you like your sports cars aged, like a fine wine or a cheese that smells like a damp schnauzer, you wanna check out Italy's Mille Miglia Road Rally. Organizers wrapped up the promotional road tour in New York last night. Along with the sexy Italian models and veal piccata, they showed off vintage Italian iron from the 30s through the 1950s. The first Mille Miglia ran in 1927 across northern and central Italy. Today, vintage car owners relive the glory days and revival run each May. This year, the Mille Miglia starts and ends in Brescia, Italy. For more info on the race, the cars, and the history, check out 1000milia.eu. Next up, Infinity takes aim at a new BMW, followed by more Jay Leno on this Friday, right after this. No damn said FLD. What the hell is this? Rugby, Derek D. Rugby. What? Alan. Mike. Yo. You guys playing a joke? What are you doing? Rugby, Derek D. I command you. Okay, I get it. Some, like, goofy promo and... Oh, let me rub this. Was it supposed to be a genie lamp? I'm gonna rub the... What? Mecca lecca fa fa fa. Look at me. You have five automotive wishes, Derek D. Uh, okay, uh... Are, are you joking, or is this serious? It's serious. You get to pick five cars you want to drive. Okay, so I get I get five cars as my wishes. Absolutely. Any five. Any five you want. Okay, so we got... I'll take the Aston Martin DB9, Lamborghini Gallardo, Ferrari F430, the Mercedes CLK 63 AMG Black Series, and Porsche 911 Turbo. That's a solid five. Excellent choice. Stay tuned next week for Supercar Life and watch Derek D drive his wishes. I command you! Good job, Tom. It's a good promo. Supercar Life, the week of May 5th. I swear I was like dreaming there. You guys know what time it is? It's Commenter of the Week time! Commenter of the Week! Comment our show, yeah! Commenter of the Week! Comment! Clap it up, everybody. Comment of the week. Yes, lovely. The comment of the week comes from Matt M. Coop, and he said, Hey, Derek, how about you get some actual clothes that look decent? For being the host of the most popular car show on YouTube, thanks, you look like a little sloppy. Who's with me? Well, honestly, Matt, I think I dress kind of dapper. I don't know. Got a problem? Don't worry about it. I think I look fine. With the BMW 1 Series and Audi A3 causing a commotion in the premium small car space, other luxury car makers want in. Mercedes-Benz is already working on a new 1 Series competitor, and according to the UK's auto car, new word on a small package comes from insiders at Infiniti. Word is the Nissan-owned Lux brand is planning a 1 Series rival designed to be different from any other car in its class. That to round out its luxury offerings as the company sets its sights on a European launch. Infiniti is said to be looking at a small crossover or coupe cabrio as potential body styles. No word yet on whether Infiniti would sell the 1 Series rival globally, but insiders say all will be revealed in 2010. Next up, it's more of our good friend Jay Leno right here on Fastlane Daily, starting now. Take it, Matt. Welcome to Fastlane Daily. Matt from New York Motor Club here, and we're at Jay Leno's garage.
what's your what's your favorite uh, alternative power source for the for the future? Oh, Where you know, you um, uh, hydrogen is pretty sexy. I, I like hydrogen. Unfortunately, in this country, for some reason, we seem to frown on diesel. You go to Europe and they have three cylinder Volkswagen diesels that get 85 miles per gallon yeah. that are so much better than any of the hybrids. But here we hear hybrid and oh, everything has to be hybrid. It's like in the 80s, turbo. You get the regular hair dryer or the turbo hair dryer. <laughs> well, give me the turbo hair dryer. I mean, it doesn't have any relationship to turbos, but yeah. the, the word seems to catch on. So, and hybrid is another one. I mean, I like hybrid technology. I think it's interesting, but- But for the money, it's but not, the you're not really you're getting that much. fact you're carrying two full trains. Yeah. Uh, the fuel cell, I think, is interesting. I think diesel is really good. Um, what about the hybrid diesel when you combine those? That's okay. Would but you rather just the regular diesel? Uh, the trouble is, yeah, yeah. You know, I think what you will see in the coming years is something. You know, people had never predicted GPS. They predicted flying cars, yeah. and we uh, your meal would be a pill instead in of Star a Star Trek, they couldn't it, get the it, cell phone, but they did right, have, right, like, right. transporters. Right, so. exactly, exactly. And I think, you know, I was just reading about this scientist in uh, Pennsylvania somewhere who was bombarding seawater with ra radio waves, and it exploded. So he takes seawater, he hits it with some high frequency, and it explodes. I have no idea other than that. I just read this article. I went, wow. So here's a guy, so if you could take seawater and hit water? it, I don't know. But I mean, there's an unlimited yeah. fuel source. Yeah. Uh, and I think something like that will happen. Some science will come and save the day, as yeah. it always has. You know, the world was gonna starve to death if you got three billion people, because you can only grow this much corn and this much land. Yeah. When I can grow this much corn on this much land, yeah. okay? And, you know, uh, hydrogen, I think, is really interesting. I, I've driven a bunch of the hydrogen cars. Um, I remember I drove a hydrogen car for BMW. That 7 Series? Yeah. And How we, was it? It was great. It, you could, it was an internal combustion engine. You know, the problem is not the car. The problem is the fuel. We like the car. We mm -hmm. just don't like the fuel. Yeah. You know, everybody's against the car, but people forget at the turn of the century, the car was the great savior of the American horse. All the animal rights people thought the car was the greatest invention because you go to Chicago and New York in the summertime, horses would drop dead from the heat. Guys would whip them. If the horse died, they'd cut the reins and leave the dead carcass in the road and be dysentery and sickness and all that kind of stuff. And then the car came in and went, put a little, a little blue smoke. Oh, this, is, this is fantastic. They thought it was the greatest thing ever because it freed up all these animals from being beasts of burden, you know? Well, now we've kind of got the other problem. We don't really. We still love the car, we just hate the fuel because yeah. the fuel pollutes. But I mean, we've seen tremendous advances. You know, when I was a kid, if you wanted to kill yourself, you drove a Cadillac into the garage, you shut the door and you were dead in 20 minutes. Well, now you'd probably starve to death. Now, you know, you gotta get out and get a sandwich and go back in and sit there because it's gonna take that much longer. You I know? actually heard that if you drive a new 911 in Los Angeles, the exhaust is cleaner than the outside well, air. Well, that sounds a little publicity. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I've seen tremendous advances in that yeah. field. I mean, we don't really give people enough credit for that. But, uh, but yeah, I, anyway, I've driven, I've driven the, ha the uh, Honda Clarity. That's a hydrogen car, uh, is and that's, Amazing. It's a fuel cell and it feels like a modern car. Well, Jay, highlight of my life. Oh, well, yeah. So it's a pretty bad life. Jay Leno's Garage, it's only on Fastlane Daily. It's sad. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for this week. Tune in next week for Supercar Life, and if you don't, something bad might happen. Like that. <laughs>